Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, Lotus Starborn Galactics of the New Edenic Paradigm. Happy New Earth Eve as we step over the threshold into the new golden age of infinite light and eternal life. As our Luna moves into the sign of Taurus today, we have massive waves of divine goddess feminine Venusian energies flowing into this realm from the Most High. The Taurian energetics are assisting all Earth angelic ground crew of the 144 to anchor in and ground the fifth dimensional energies into the diamond grid of the dragon lines of Pachamama. We are really feeling the energies pumping in from the great central sun for our upgrades and activations of our 12-strand crystalline DNA. The Buddha turned the wheel of Dharma to free humanity from the wheel of samsara, and now we have returned to assist all sentient beings in the transition from the illusory world to a world of peace and freedom in the light. We are shifting from the mentality and experience of surviving to that of thriving. We do this by living in harmony with nature, our environment, and our tribes and communities of the new earth. In the quantum field, all our dreams have already come true. It is up to us to bridge the seen with the unseen, to merge the physical with the non-physical, with our pure intent and divine will, and living from our hearts, being connected to all things in all realms, timelines, and dimensions. In the gnosis of the Akash of the earth and the cosmos, we are tapping into and turning on our higher purpose that has been hidden within the soul star spark in the center of our sacred heart chamber. All is being revealed and exposed for full healing and compression breakthrough as supernova, Christo, Sophia, conscious light beings of the new Lemuria. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred New Earth scribes, so be sure to listen to the very end and please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. Now we continue with the Sabian symbols. Right now, the moon is at 2 degrees 53 minutes Taurus. The sun is at 10 degrees, 14 minutes Capricorn. The current Sabian symbol for the moon at 3 degrees Taurus. Steps up to a lawn blooming with clover. And the current Sabian symbol for the sun at 11 degrees Capricorn. Pheasants display their brilliant colors on a private estate. From astrologyweekly.com And from divine sister of the light, Ramona Lappin. Standing in true integrity, which is what fully heals and activates your divine blueprint, is you being in full alignment with your true authentic self at all times, fully honest with yourself and all, and that's not a fictitious character that was given to you by your environment, but you have to get to know thyself. And from Divine Brother of the Light Pars Kute, Endings to Have New Beginnings May the energies of 2023 be abundant for our health and happiness and bring us many blessings with greater realizations of our true divine self and our connections with the stars. Much love, light, peace, and joy to the divine new world. Happy Divine New Earth Year 2023 within divine love of one Pars Kute. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Pedia Zavel. Seeing within consciousness, seeing the shift happen into the new world, much consciousness is moved into higher consciousness. World cleansing will be done, 2023 shall be, as we will witness history within truth come up into the surface like water and oil. The new world within purification has to settle in, so no more history to be repeated, the stopped action helping hand, we're heading as many human souls already know. 2023 doorway, gateway, golden age. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Ali Ray. 
Good God, glorious final morning of 2022. Kisses from the sunrise over Haleakala and songs from the whales singing in the sea. May all hearts receive the blessings of this precious moment in eternity. May we each take a sacred pause to be still and commune in our hearts and be in gratitude for all that has ever been to allow ourselves the fullness, completion, and honor of all that has been experienced. And may we open our hearts ever wider that we may become soft, tender, and alive just as the loving, silent vastness that holds us. Happy and blessed final day of 2022, beloveds. Thank you for all that you are and all that we shared in the time that was 2022. I carry each of you in my heart and I spend this day at the sea. I so love you. Love is, love is, love is. God is, God is, God is. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Celia Fenn. So this is the last day of the linear year 2022, and tomorrow will be the 1-1, one, one, the first day of the year 2023. What can we expect from 2023? It will be the year of mastery, magic, and simple joy. We will continue to ride the spirals of creation and manifestation into the new earth, and we will begin the emergence of the aqua heart and a deeper relationship with the element of water. We will draw deeply on the mastery that we have developed and begin to create and enjoy the magical new earth we have waited for. Now is the time. You have everything that you need within you, and we will learn the art of simple joy. I like to invite nature to send me messages via the visitors in my garden that will represent the messages for 2023. The first one was a sunbird, hummingbird, that came and fed on some flowers right next to me, the bird that represents joy. The second was a scorpion, yes, the messenger of divine protection. I remember the thirteen scorpions that guard the goddess Isis. The third was a trio of crows flying in a vortex pattern, representing messages from spirit and higher self. Indeed, and the final one was a great big alpha male baboon that came right onto my bedroom balcony to make sure I would see him, as if I could miss. He represents leadership and wisdom to lead your troop or soul family. So as you step into 2023, I wish you joy and divine protection, many blessings and messages from spirit, and the courage and confidence to be a leader for the new earth. From CeliaFen.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Linda Lee New Year's greetings, dear family of love and light. The new is merging. The new divine government, Gaia's new phase, humanity's new adventure and new golden age are all coming and showing up to us. Enjoy the new, dear ones, and have yourself an amazing new year and celebration. Divine love to you. Have a blessed 2023. We are all here and ready for the fantastic year to come. Blessings indeed. We usher in the new era and Gaia's new phase. From thomasapage.com And from Divine Angel of the Light, Lucas Prime. Internal healing is currently happening on a grand scale. The first waivers have begun their forever young process. All past injuries from one's life experience is being healed, redefined for the strengthening of one's physical vessel, for however long one will be residing on this planet. Redefining one's organs, muscles, nerves is not a pleasant experience. Pain and soreness is involved. Our endurance will be most rewarding. Quieter times will be a natural response to all that is going on within. Forever young has begun. Do your best, dear ones. Random itching is also being experienced as these current energies intensify. A warrior will take it all in his or her stride. Our internal bodies are changing so rapidly. Peace and purification comes at a price, an ongoing process. Only the strong will survive. Prayers can help with all that one experiences. Realigning with Source is the highest and most sacred process known to mankind. Upgrades and the forever young process together are not for the faint-hearted. Acceptance will sort this current process. 
stand strong and know that all is progressing rapidly as we enter the higher realm of unknown waters of 2023. I stand in full acceptance of all that is yet to enter my personal path. Truth will be my guide to higher understanding. Untruth holds no interest for my heart, mind, and soul. These powerful energies will see to that. Be alert and aware of surging energies. They will be unpredictable and synchronizing beyond belief. All is in motion to bring us home. Know it, dear ones. Our soul craves it. Cruise control it will be. May peace and love reside with you on this certain day. From Divine Sistar of the Light Blue Rose Oracles Huge energies incoming as we transition into a new year's vibrational frequency. All layers of the energetic body are upgrading as pulse waves are bouncing off the central sun into the magnetic grids, activating crystalline codes within the DNA. 2023 begins with a huge planetary quantum shift into a higher octave of source heart resonance. Golden light waves are flowing through the grids and around Gaia, elevating the planetary heart field and lifting us out of the old matrices of illusion and confusion. There is a collective timeline convergence occurring which is creating the opportunity to integrate fractal aspects and clear veils within the Akash and our collective memory. New data points are accessible and we are experiencing the physical and energetic transition into a new collective timeline as our holographic reality experience upgrades into these new faster bandwidths. The new timeline emerging is in flux as we align with the deepest, truest, and most authentic aspect of our divine presence. There are no webs or veils of illusion to create separation within our human and cosmic celestial experience. We are no longer perpetuating fractals of separation within our reality as we merge and converge within the heart. Divine union and communion within as we merge into deeper conscious awareness of love, of being a reflection of Source and the universe, and of our true divine expression, remembering who we truly are, embodying every single beautiful, blissful octave of our being within each moment. We are the pulse wave, the solar flash, the new earth. We are the grids in ecstatic motion vibrating and pulsating. Anchoring and weaving, we are the divine instruments through which this powerful reawakening call is being reverberated. We are the musical notes, the octaves of light, love of divinity which are vibrating and singing across all holographic layers of our reality experience. We are here to birth a new age through embodying the divine presence. The new year completes a huge transformational cycle which has been an integral part of the clearing of the old grid lines and quantum seeding the pathways for the new grid lines and timelines to be birthed. Through flowing in union and communion across all timelines and realities, heart and mind, cosmic and elemental, heaven and earth, you are the keys to unlocking new possibilities and gateways. You are uploading the full spectrum of templates and codes that support the embodiment of your divine blueprint. Now is the moment you have been incarnating towards. You have arrived. From BlueRoseHolistic.com And from Divine Brothor of the Light Diego E. Berman, Ph.D. Happy 2022 through 2023 evolution. Dear friends, today and tonight we officially enter the new year Although energetically speaking, this transition has already been happening for a few weeks. Welcome to 2023, the year of creative enlightenment. A year to express our perennial wisdom into the world. This last day of the year is usually charged with a strong emotional component. Consciously or unconsciously, our mind plays a movie of this past year's events and tries to come to terms with all the new information our soul acquired and experienced. Everything that happens to us on this physical plane is recorded energetically at some level within our spiritual self. 
This information in the form of experiences is extremely useful for our future evolution, either here on Earth or in our next journeys in other planes of existence. As we move into 2023, I hope all the experiences you went through in 2022 will help guide your journey into higher timelines of reality. 2023 will be the first step in the 2023 to 2033 period of a new type of higher frequency. We are moving into a period of creative expression and of anchoring the light even deeper on our planet. This process starts with each of us as we continue breaking down all the inner barriers that prevent us from expressing our divine light. As we integrate our shadow and light aspects, our divine light becomes brighter and brighter, creating a shift all around the planet. On top of the transitional 2022 through 2023 energies, we are being showered with more solar plasma as we end the year. Our planet's geomagnetic field has been under stormy conditions for the last 24 hours. This can add a bit of energetic chaos within our systems, so please take good care of yourself by grounding your energy, staying hydrated, and relaxing as much as possible. The 2023 light codes are coming in strongly, especially tomorrow, January 1st, 1123, another portal with the number 7 light codes. I look forward to sharing with all of you the new adventures that the 2023 timelines have in store for us. May the light be with you always. Happy New Year. Much love. We are one. From DiegoBerman.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Erini, Crystal and Indigo Guide to the Galaxy, Athens, December 31st, 2022, Twin Flames Update, Message, the male presence on earth is to now come into the light of truth, take his position in full self-responsibility, and do the right thing, in order for the flows of true creation to be fully restored again. Please, if you agree, say yes to this message. Oh my goodness, this is huge. This was sudden and very different than any other message of the past, and just by writing about this, I have an unprecedented body sensation and feeling. This is not a call. This is actually an order for action that has come through by the Divine Logos herself, and it is in full alignment with the Divine Father also, so it brings with it the energy of actualization. This means that it is a real-time manifestation, realization, and materialization of the Divine Logos work. The male presence is to restore the true flows inwardly and outwardly on his part, and he is to do it in an ethical manner according to the natural law and the law of no harm. Collectively speaking, he has been delaying or resisting to do his part, and now this is over. The forces that were holding, controlling, and negatively affecting him are powerless in the presence and command of the Divine Logos, and the Divine Logos has spoken. There is nothing to fear or doubt anymore. The road is cleared. He has the divine logos with him. The female presence cannot actually have access to this part of the restoration of the flows, not like the male presence has. She has been doing her part in this, but it is not enough. She cannot do what is his in responsibility and nature. Energy-wise, this is something new. This has never happened before at least not to my understanding, and it is connected to physical reality. And if the Divine Logo says this is to take place now, then this means that both the female and the male presences are ready for this. I have no idea how this will start being witnessed and fulfilled, but I know one thing. This is the biggest blessing which is directly connected to the return of both the 5D Emerald Diamond and the Living Spiral on Earth. And this is the best way to close 2022 and start 2023. Pure heavenly bliss. So it is. Blessings to the male presence on earth. Erini. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Grandma Chandra. You are moving into 2023, which is a number seven. Seven is the harmonic chord for the universe. This is a year of balancing everything, including the flow transitions of halftones of the light. This year will reveal the new blueprint for life on Gaia. 
that will start sparking the vortices of the energies that will be sent out like radar for humanity to support all the new energy and new life on Gaia, including the newly installed grids that will become available to humanity. Simultaneously, this radar will be tuning and sending the vibrations that will be necessary to support this new life on Gaia. The starseeds currently on Gaia will be stepping forward, creating their own groups of their own families that will be more vocal and recognizable. They will expand their influence with people who are connected with them on Gaia or people who are listening and transmitting this information to the other levels of life and society. Picture this like an opening of a flower. The buds are already there. The petals will be opening and the new information, the new vibrations will be coming through and spread by those whose genetic codes or soul agreements are connected to this work. The star families or flower families will overlap each other because, as you know, they are all working together. In this overlapping areas, they will be creating new energetic spaces, allowing people to come up with new ideas, technologies, thoughts, art, and everything that is needed right now on Gaia, and everything that has been suppressed but will now come through this interaction. Picture a tree growing. It has many branches. The first branches grow, set up, and establish themselves. Then they allow the second row of branches to grow. Every layer of life, every layer of society will have this presence of new fields and of new energy that will be interacting in people's hearts and heads so that the new inventions, the new understanding of the new life relationships and community work will be coming through more and more and will be accepted, claimed, and asked for. When people start asking for this new life pattern, they will be coming to Gaia faster and faster. There will be more chakras opening in the human body, not only the main ones and not only the higher ones, but also all other chakras located in the secondary energetic lines and in your arms, hands, legs, and toes. These secondary lines will be very valuable because they will allow your new quantum sensors to unfold and be present. You are living for a very long time with limited vision and only the main factors for survival. Now that your survival questions are resolved, you will start looking into sharper ways of perceiving the reality existing around you. Your Merkaba will have quantum energetic sensors that will be all around your field. Your perception of life and information about life will be received not from the tactical touch through your hands, feet, or skin, but by these sensors at the very edge of your quantum field. This will immediately inform you about everything that is happening around you in the quantum fields and on the energetic level, much faster and much better than the 3D sensors of touch or feel. Now you are able to work with geometric shapes, utilizing these shapes in your Merkaba. By protecting these different shapes into your quantum field, you will be able to use these tools for different activities, like working with the pyramids, the stars, cubes, all the shapes that I have shared with you because all of them are already present in your quantum field. Work with the shapes by focusing your attention on the tasks you wish to perform. Hugs and love to you all, Grandma from GrandmaChandra.com From Divine Sistar of the Light, Asara Adams Energy Update by Adama of Telos 31st of December 2022 Greetings, beloved ones. We are most joyous to connect with you here today, and we are sending you our utmost love from the heart of Telos. As you are crossing the threshold into the new year 2023, we invite you to choose a moment just before 12 a.m., whenever this is in your time zone, and be still. Just before the changeover into the new year, there is a magical moment to plant the seeds of creation for your new year. As you are quieting down, thank God, source your I Am Presence for all the blessings you have received in the year 2022. Feel the feeling of reliving these moments of receiving divine blessings into your life. Then state what you are looking forward to and what you wish to create in the new year 2023. Address each aspect of your life, health, love, abundance, purpose, spirituality, contribution to the greater good, playfulness, and joyful experiences, and any other areas that are important to you. 
feel the feeling of having received it, then project yourself into your future on New Year's Eve 2023. Look back at a fantastic year, well lived, and how everything you wanted to create manifested for you. Feel the celebration of it. When this is complete, come back to this now moment and cross over into your new year 2023. From the heart of Telos, we wish you a blessed and joyful new year 2023. We champion your victory in the light. Welcome home, we send you all so much love. You are carried on the wings of angels to bring forth the new earth. Know in your heart that you are always surrounded by your angels, ascended masters, guides, galactic families of light, and yes, also by your family and friends in Telos, and always will be. Dear ones, we are walking with you on this journey, and you are loved beyond measure, always. I am your brother Adama of Telos, from teloschannel.com, and from Divine Sistar of the Light, Judith Kusel. 2022 marked the midway post of the ascension into the new earth and the new golden age. Today, the 31st of December 2022, marks the end of an epoch, the end of the old earth, the old you. As I was resting and off in between worlds in the last few days, being prepared for an intense recalibration on all levels, what came up most was the total letting go of the past, all which has ever been before, all past lives, all existences, all unforgiveness in any form or way, all baggage, whatever. 2023 marks the process of even higher ascension, assuming multidimensionality, where we fully step into our light body form and can, as we shed more of the density, bilocate, soul travel into infinite space, teleport, telekinesis, use sound technology. We are being transformed into the star beings we in truth are. The navigational tools are within us, within our open hearts and souls. Our higher mind is in the process of reawakening so that we can access the higher knowledge again in the highest and best ways for the highest good of all. We will become more aware of our intergalactic brothers and sisters as the super cosmic races are making their presence felt more and more and assisting the ascension process. All is leading within back to your own soul, your own divinity, as you remember the truth of who and what in truth you are and live it. Changes, changes, and more changes, expansion on every level, known and unknown. We are being reborn, reinvented, reshaped, alchemized, and transfigured. All is leading back to unconditional love for self and all others, as the inner soul is as one with all that is. Unity, one, love. From JudithKusel.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Natalia Alba. Beloved ones, we are leaving behind another year, a harmonic one that leads us into a year of wisdom and hence personal sovereignty, where many will continue freeing themselves, reclaiming their personal power and with it their soul's memories. As always, endings and beginnings are intertwined, for we end 2022 at the same time we step into this new year, 2023, introduced by the One One Portal. For we are all within an eternal divine spiral of constant manifestation and expansion. I thank you all, precious souls, for accompanying me one more year in our evolutionary journey. Thank you for being who you are and for all that you are, and do for all to assist in this planetary transition. I wish you all a blessed, abundant, liberating, and sovereign 2023. Let us bring more peace, joy, and harmony in this new year. Let us continue seeding, healing, restoration, and love for all. Within infinite love and bright blessings, Natalia Alba from StarseedSoul.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Leah Whitehorse. Lunar Aspects Mercury Retrograde in Capricorn, Square Eris Retrograde in Aries Only a few days ago, Mercury made his first square to Eris. Now here we are again, a pressing problem, an annoyance, a troubling thought that will not go away. Meanwhile, the moon in Aries makes a string of squares, leaving us feeling boxed in. The impetus is to keep kicking the walls until something gives, 
Mentally, too, there's a tendency to dwell on the problem rather than work on solutions. We might grumble and gripe, but no amount of complaining will make the issue go away. Sometimes we just have to face things head on or retreat until the stars align. Despite this, don't let the year end on a sour note. Look to all you have experienced and learned over the past 12 months. Give thanks for all the good, the smiles, the blessings. Give yourself a pat on the back and some loving kindness. Find your word for the new year ahead to give you a focus on your energies. Relief is found through simple pleasures as the moon enters Taurus. Good food, good company, quiet presence. Anchor yourself to the earth beneath your feet. Cultivate stillness. Time is not your enemy. From LeahWhitehorse.com And from Divine Brothor of the Light, Sean Caulfield. As we shift from 2022 to 2023, a great transformation has been happening through 2022 in preparation for 2023. Now we go through a metamorphosis and consciousness transcends duality to let go of its dead weight so as to be light, feel free and fly in the winds of divine change. Predominantly it is the archetype of wind that is energetically emanating and communicating on a galactic level through this 360 day tune cycle of the 13th day of the 8th wave. From early September 2022 to the end of August 2023, all is unfolding in perfect time to pollinate the new seeds, primordial memory, to awaken and hatch cosmic egg earth as one light of unconditional love and inner peace. Energetically speaking, as we complete 2022 on a universal level that connects to the spiritual higher self-consciousness is in a time of rest and inward reflection. This can be understood in the Universal Calendar Medicine Wheel movement of the ninth wave 36-day cycle of four by nine day periods that is in resonance with the Zolkin 260 days and Tun 360 days weaved together through time. Thus we are now energetically in the time between midnight and sunrise, and to a certain level this has a bearing on our collective consciousness. It's hence a good time to rest and dream the new before and on the 5th of January 2023, the new nine days starts and the sun rises in the east. It's the start of the 18-day period of the 121st day of the ninth wave. We are all connected on the web of life, being spiritual and consciously on the sacred good red road of living is not easy in our unbalanced world but it is the sacred road that aligns to being on the path of your heart that guides you to your truth and sets you free for me the understanding is that this is where many hearts will meet and are meeting as the one eternal heart of unconditional love inspiration from a previous writing Blessings and ingratitude to the light of 2022, we start a new 20 days today with 12, Emish, Alligator, aligns to the new primordial rising light that is shining from the beginnings of our source origins within. On the 1st of January 2023, we start 1, Akbal, Night 1 is the primordial fire of time, and Akbal is the first light at dawn, symbolism is both darkness and dawn, and is all about recreation of unity and dampened worldly ambition, hence a time of challenges that bring gifts when transcended. Inner work is key to restoring balance and peace on earth. Aho, Sean, from rockartgallery.com. And today from the Zolkin Times, Keen 227, Blue Rhythmic Hand. The number six is called Rhythmic and its keywords are Organize, Equality, and Balance. Day six is all about organizing yourself and getting down to practicalities and being a bit more serious. That's not a bad thing. We all could do with sorting ourselves out from time to time. So be good and make that list and get things done today. Get yourself into a rhythm and chores will practically do themselves. Today is blue hand and the keywords associated with it are healing, knowing, and accomplishment. The blue hand is always an interesting day with a process that can lead to great accomplishments, but first healing must take place. This can lead to confrontations with issues you may have suppressed, 
The blue hand is about putting your hands to good use too, and so it is a great time for any activity involving the hands, including painting, pottery, carpentry, or playing guitar. When you combine the meaning of the number and the day, the result is accomplish through balance or organized healing. Drumming is an ideal activity today because it involves the hands and rhythm, of course. To balance yourself out today, beat your own drum and strut your stuff at your own pace. It's a day guided by blue hand, and so that's a double helping. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Blue Rhythmic Hand, 6, Monique, Keen 2, 27, 31st of December 2022, last day of Gregorian 2022 year. Accomplish great things. 31, 12, 2022, equal 4, 3, 6, equal 4, 9, equal 13, equal 4. 31, 13, 4, 4. Day codes, 31, genius number. Think outside the box. 13, goddess, cosmic consciousness, natural lore, synchronic time. Four form structure foundation earth angelic month year codes three six nine nikola tesla code all month of december twelve spiritual strength wisdom learning creative self expression three holy trinity joy happiness creativity communication six heaven christ family romance fertility nine completion destiny service humanity grace twenty the awakening clear vision 22. Architect of Peace, Master Builder. 2. Twins Partner Cooperation, Alliance Duality. Keen 227, equal 11 Portal, equal 2. Partnership Cooperation. A very powerful day to liberate healing from the trauma and suffering of 2022 and accomplishment, bringing assistance from spirit as we sail into 2023. Keen 227 occurred 27 months ago on the 1111 portal, date of 11 November 2021. 18 months ago we had a 2911 code which was another 1111 portal reopening that healing gate. 9 months ago Keen 227 aligned with a very holy day, Good Friday, where we had a 646 code with a direct gateway to heaven on earth. Today's 3113 code liberates humanity from the old box and into a new cosmic consciousness. 134 is the coding for this current dream spell year. 4. Moluk, the self existing moon, where the goddess is enabling us to exit the old box and build a new one based on compassion, sensitivity, and love. How divinely perfecto that the 134 coding is bringing the two years from 2022 through 23. A beautiful divine sign that the goddess is sharing the reins with spirit to guide this transition. Today is day six in the wave spell of Eek, the great white wind who holds the power of spirit and is bringing forth the benevolent winds of change. We are learning to embody spirit by becoming hollow vessels for spirit to communicate and work divine magic through our being. Today we are becoming a tool for spirit to work through, volunteering to do God's work. We have the power of accomplishing many tasks today in order to make our lives better and the lives of others better too. Can we fix it? Yes, we can. It has done times a godzillion. Tone of creation, rhythmic tone 6 in the physical realm, is a 6 coding adding more heaven and Christ frequencies to the blessings today. Rhythmic tone, action balances, power organizes, essence equality. Tone 6 operates in the physical realm and thus we are assisted in accomplishing physical tasks today. So get out your to-do list. As we are closing the year, it's a great time to declutter and clear the old debris mostly physical, but also mental, emotional, and energetic, to create space for the new to flow in. Entering the new year much lighter and empty of density and old burdens, today's spirit is asking us to put our house in order. As they say, cleanliness is next to godliness. It is time to tidy up and remove the dust and debris. The house of God is clean and spacious, creating the space needed for spirit to enter and bring divine miracles. Today is a great day to find greater balance in your physical reality and body by allowing spirit to assist you in any way, shape, or form that is needed. 
We are organizing our physical environment for greater balance and equality. It is also a great day to accomplish more balance and equality in our planetary body. A fantastic day for spring cleaning, feng shui, decluttering your house space, organizing your office, channeling ideas, preparing for your new mission, and breaking down the steps required to accomplish your dreams and desires. Today's questions are, how can I organize my physical reality to accomplish more balance, healing, and wholeness? Am I willing to volunteer to be a tool for spirit to accomplish great things? Divine blessings for accomplishing balance and healing miracles today. In la catch a la keen. Christina White Magnetic World Bridger. Keen 66. Keen 227. Blue Rhythmic Hand. The mantra, the code for today is, I organize in order to know. Balancing healing. I seal the store of accomplishment. With the rhythmic tone of equality. I am guided by the power of my own power doubled. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue this work. So if you'd like to help support our work, our mission, and help us to be able to continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you can make a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. Now I'd like to thank Divine Sister of the Light, Iniana Velkani, for your donation today. Thank you very much, Divine Sister. We appreciate you and your support. Now I'd like to also thank Divine Brothor of the Light, Milo Radek, for another donation. Thank you, Divine Brothor. We appreciate you and your continued support. And we appreciate all of you that continue to support us in our work and mission. We couldn't be doing this work without you. So thank all of you for supporting us through this intense year of 2022. And we look forward to serving all of you through this powerful and magical year of 2023. If you'd like to support our work and mission with a one-time donation, you could do so to our PayPal or Stripe accounts. Both links are at EagleLoveCondor.com. Now I'd like to also thank Divine Sister of the Light, Sharon Jung, for another donation. Super thanks donation on YouTube. Thank you very much, Divine Sister. We appreciate you and your continued support. We'd like to also thank Peaceful Heart for another super thanks donation on YouTube. We appreciate you, Divine Angel, and your continued support. Now I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condors artwork on Etsy. You could purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmission with a very powerful divine decree from Divine Sistar of the Light Asara Adams. Decree to make 2023 your best year ever. In the name of my beloved I Am Presence, I now call forth my galactic family of light, the beloved Ascended Masters, the great angelic hosts, and the seven mighty Elohim. I ask for these blessed beings of the light to amplify, intensify, and multiply the power of this decree with the light of a thousand suns from the great central sun. Beloved mighty I Am Presence, Charge and fill my mind and body with divine inner peace, love, harmony, abundance, health, and happiness. Fill my entire being, mind, heart, body, and aura with your energy. And let me see, feel, and perceive my reality through your eyes. And call forth the manifestation of the divine plan, the Ascended Master's way. In the name of my beloved I Am Presence, the Ascended Host, the Angelic Host, the cosmic host, and telos. I command your assistance with my ascension and the purification of my being and world. 
I now call forth my beloved I Am Presence to assist me in holding the vision for a healthy, abundant, loving, creative, purpose-driven, and fulfilling year of 2023. Beloved I Am Presence, assist me in connecting to you, to God, and to all higher realms on a deeper level for divine guidance and support. Beloved I Am Presence, let me look back at the end of the year of 2023 and say, it was the best year ever. Thank you, God. Thank you, beloved I Am Presence. Thank you, Ascended Host. I now call forth the I Am Presence of all mankind to take command and to create a world of divine harmony and perfection. Beloved I Am Presence, go before me this day and this night and take command. I give all power to you. I am now living in the wonderful reality to create a higher dimensional life of love, peace, harmony, health, creativity, abundance, joy, and the fulfillment of the divine plan for all. I decree this for the highest good of all that is in divine service to God, now and forever. It is done, it is done, it is done. Thank you, beloved I am. Much love. From TelosChannel.com Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful, blessed, and miraculous, magical year of 2023. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.